Module 6.1, Fechner's Law. For most things that we sense, like sound and sight, there's an interesting relationship between the way we sense things and the way that they actually are in real life. It turns out that we perceive things exponentially. G.T. Fechner summed it up rather simply in what's now known as Fechner's Law. And that says, as stimuli are increased by multiplication, sensations increase by addition. So let's look at the notes on a piano to see what that means. Let's play the lowest note, which is A0. That note has a frequency of 27 and a half hertz. If we go up eight piano keys, we end up at A1. This note is an octave higher, so it has a frequency of 55 hertz. If we go up eight more notes, we're at A2. This is another octave higher with a frequency of 110 hertz. We go up eight more notes. We have another doubling of frequency, another eight notes. So, as you would figure, this pattern repeats itself all the way up the piano. Now let's look at this a little bit closer. Every time we go up an octave, we double the frequency. And another way of saying that is we multiply the frequency by two. Now this is all nice and good, but is that what we sense? If we play a scale of notes from A to A, we're going up eight notes. So the first octave is eight notes. The next octave is another eight notes. The next octave is yet another eight notes. So we hear it as eight notes that we keep adding. So even though the frequency doubles, the number of notes adds by eight. Now, if we were to look at this relationship on a graph, the frequencies versus the note numbers would look like this. That's what's known as an exponential curve. However, if we look at the number of notes versus which octave they are, it looks like this. This is a linear curve, and this is the way we perceive it. Each octave sounds the same. And next octave. It doesn't sound like there's twice as many notes. First octave has eight, the second has eight. It sounds right. We don't think that, oh, the second octave with the doubling of frequency has twice as many notes. So, as the stimuli, which is the frequency of notes per octave, doubles or multiplies, the sensation, which is the number of notes, adds. We add eight notes. So, that shows how the relationship is exponential. Fechner's law is demonstrated, and it turns out this is also the same for the way that we detect loudness. And we'll look at that more closely in the next several modules. To review, Fechner's law states, as stimuli are increased by multiplication, sensations increase by addition.